Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 Star Terror Raid event for Sceptile is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this brand new raid as well as the best builds to solo this with in your game. So the 7 Star Terror Raid event for Sceptile is running for its first phase from the 28th of June and running over this weekend until the 30th of June. Of course it will return for the following weekend from the 5th of July until the 7th. But the details will go over now. The Sceptile is going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability on Burden, but that's not going to play any role in the raid. It doesn't have a held item. The moves that it does have access to are going to be Leaf Blade, Breaking Swipe, Dragon Dance, Thunder Punch, Leaf Storm, and Earthquake. It will have the Mightiest Mark, can never be shiny, and it will have that Dragon Terror Typing with a hasty nature. Obviously, can only be caught once per save file. We'll go down and take a look at the item drops. As usual, with a 7-star terror raid, you're going to get a higher rate of large XL candies. You're going to get carbos as the vitamin drop, as well as dragon terror shards, ability patches, and the TM breaking swipe. And again, you're going to have the drops for all five Herba Mystica. So there will be a 3% chance of any one of those dropping. You can get multiples every time you beat this raid. So a very good one to farm over the weekend to get that very rare and difficult to get item. But like I say, running over this first weekend from today as of recording this video on the 28th of June until the 30th. So the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be for Clefable. Clefable is going to be a pure fairy type. It's going to have the fairy terror typing as well as the held item of the expert belt. It is going to be level 100 and it will be hyper trained. So just make sure you max out those IVs. Move set that we're going for is going to be draining kiss. That is a TM as well as protect and calm mind and moon blast as well the ability is the most important thing on the fable because that is going to be unaware that's going to ignore any of those stack boosts that the septile is going to encounter with the dragon dance throughout the raid the ev spread is going to be 252 evs in special attack and 252 evs in defense and then the remaining evs the four that you've got there are going to be in hp with a calm nature so that is the nature that is the clefable the build as always will be down in the description below if you want to check it out after the video we'll jump into the raid now and i'll show you how quick and easy and consistent it can be to beat the septile with this clefable so when you come into the raid against the seven star septile it is going to have a turn zero where it is going to get an attack off before the raid actually begins and it will fire off a leaf blade and it will be into one of the four random targets on the opposite side of the field so it can hit into you but it can also hit into a partnering pokemon as well so depending on what the rng is like you can sometimes get lucky and sometimes not sometimes like this you will get hit yourself first turn we're going to lock in with a calm mind that's going to boost our special attack and special defense by one stage so that's just going to mean that we're hitting a little bit harder in these early stages of the raid so we're going to be chasing down our terrestrialization as soon as possible to kind of max out our attacking potential against the septile turn two we're going to lock in with a draining kiss and even though we have taken a bit of damage so far in the raid don't worry about that too much the draining kiss will be enough to heal back all that damage Sceptile is going to go for a flurry of attacks. It will choose to opt to go for those Dragon Dances as well throughout the raid. And that every time it does use a Dragon Dance is going to boost its attack and its speed by one stage. But don't worry about that because we've got that unaware ability. We're actually going to ignore any of those stat boosts that the Sceptile gets. So now we're just going to concentrate on going for some damage onto the Sceptile. We don't want to waste our turns Calm Minding because they are going to get nullified pretty soon in the raid. And like I say, we want to just chase down our terrestrialization counter as soon as possible. We are going to have our terrestrialization energy stall one turn by the Sceptile. That is going to mean we're going to take an additional turn to have to terrestrialize in this match. You can see another Leaf Blade coming out here. And after the Dragon Dances, you would expect it to do a lot more. Uh, but not doing too much damage as we fire a moon blast it's also advisable maybe to just lock in with the draining kisses at this stage because you want to be as healthy as possible going into this next stage of the raid so what we're waiting on is it nullifying the stat boosts on our side of the field and then it will set up its shield as well so we will see that nullification here and this is a really key turn this is where we're going to lock in with protect because if we don't protect here our unaware is not effective this next turn you can see it's also stealing some of our terror or power but without the unaware it will be able to knock us out at this stage in the raid and that's going to slow us down immensely sometimes like here it's going to go for the dragon dance but most of the time it will lock in with that leaf blade now after this case it has nullified our stats and things like that 
Next turn, we're going to go for another Calm Mind. We're going to make sure that we do start to set up with those Calm Mind boosts because we ideally want to get to plus six at some point through this raid. The shield hasn't went up just yet, but it will be pending going up very soon. And we want to try and get our attacks up as soon as possible. Now, I would say just keep an eye on your HP stat because you are going to want to make sure that you are staying as healthy as possible throughout the raid whilst also chasing down that terrestrialization counter when you can. So we'll lock in with a Draining Kiss now, just because we're going to take another attack from this Sceptile, and we want to just recover a little bit of health uh, before we can terrestrialize, because we will be getting very close to that terrestrialization point now, and that means we're going to be able to do a little bit more damage as well throughout the raid. So we are able to terrestrialize now. We're going to lock in with a Draining Kiss at this point, and then when we're in that more healthy position, We'll be able to go for those calm mines, get to that plus six, and really start running through the raid very quickly. The Fable's very consistent. The only drawback is it isn't a Pokemon available in the base games. You need the DLCs or you need to be able to trade it in from Pokemon Home. But hopefully, majority of you do have access to a Clefairy or a Clefable in your games to be able to utilize this strategy as you go forward this weekend with the raid event. So there's a draining kiss, and you can see the recovery that we get it's so useful in this stage of the battle especially after terrestrialization it looks like we're not doing much damage Septile gonna remove the stat drops on its side of the field but that's fine so now we're going to concentrate because we're in that healthier position of going for those calm mines the only other thing you need to watch out for is these leaf blade crits now if you do get a critical hit at any point during the raid you just need to lock in with the draining kiss get that recovery back before you lock in with those calm minds make sure that you are calm minding at the appropriate time when you've got enough health to do so if you're low on health just lock in with the training kiss it's a pretty easy rule of thumb to go for there might be occasions where you're doing this raid and you get very unlucky and you do take a double critical hit and that might be enough to pick up the knockout on your cliffable but most of the time you're going to be in this situation where you are going to be able to just drop a draining kiss whenever you want and then chase down these calm minds till you are plus six and then you can start doing some big significant damage you can see the raid timer here it's only about 50 percent at this stage we're not in any danger of getting knocked out but you just like i say need to keep an eye on your health as you're going through the raid you'll be able to easily walk through this septile pretty well with this pokemon actually at this stage we can go for another calm mind i think here i'm going to take another leaf blade for our trouble it's pretty risky though the leaf blades do have a higher critical hit rate and it is a bit risky at times but at the same time you're going to be all right and the one thing that we've got going against us here hopefully from the majority of you that are doing this raid with the clefable be in a better position where the grassy terrain isn't affecting you because the grassy terrain is boosting those uh leaf blades that are coming out so they are going to be doing a bit more damage than they would usually without the grassy terrain so the arbolivia not really the ideal partner in pokemon that you want going into this raid but it's just something that we're having to deal with right now. And it kind of shows you how good the Clefable can be even when things aren't looking so good for you uh, with that grassy terrain set up as another leaf blade kind of be fired out. But well, it'll give us room to get this calm mind up. And without the grassy terrain, I feel like the raid would be a lot quicker as well. An Intimidator is not really going to affect the field too much because the Unaware is going to ignore that Intimidate onto the field. So you're not really going to have any benefit from an intimidate partnering pokemon to you in the raid with the unaware ability and we'll see another leaf blade come out but another draining kiss will recover that energy and we'll be able to check out our stat boosts at this stage the septile also only drops our stats once per raid so once it has done that it won't do it again and we can see one more calm mind at this stage it's going to be enough to max us out and then we'll be able to kind of go on the onslaught and then close up the raid pretty quickly from this point out i think you just want to make sure once you break the shield you're at that stage where you've got as much health as possible going forward so you don't really want to risk not or having around half hp because that can be a bit of a detriment to you going forward in the raid block them with a draining kiss just to make sure that we are able to be at full health when that shield is broken because we don't want any anything going away at this stage we've put so much time in Unfortunately, the Sceptile with the Clefable, not the fastest way to run through it, but I'm sure over the weekend and as we get deeper into the raid and test other ideas, we'll be able to maybe get some faster options to run through to form this raid as we go forward this weekend. As you can see, another Leaf Blade crit coming out, but not really affecting us too much. Don't worry about the Draining Kisses. It can be worth PP maxing your Draining Kisses just for this raid, because I think 
There is the likelihood if you are in a similar situation to myself, you may be at the point where you need those max PP. But even though we're having pretty bad RNG throughout the raid, we're not going to need all of those draining kisses. One more draining kiss now will break the shield and then we'll be able to close this up with a Moonblast with a little bit of time left on the raid. But like I say, majority of the time with this Clefable build, you're going to be able to run through it very consistently and hopefully a lot faster as well. Just try and avoid the Arbolivia as a partnering Pokemon for the majority of the time anyway, because it is helping the, the Sceptile and not ourselves. I'm going to see it use Earthquake once through the raid as well, but I mean with the Unaware ability, uh, ooh, we're not really going to be having to be too concerned about that. Thunder Punch there as well as another coverage move, uh, making the Azumarill a very difficult bring to this raid. And then we'll be able to lock in with that Moonblast. And plus six, we're going to be able to close this one up with plenty of time left on the raid timer. So there we go. That is the Sceptile, how easy it is to beat with the Clefable. And you'll be able to run through it. Bomb for those who missed to get over this weekend. Like I say, not the fastest in certain situations, but very consistent. And then you can grab it in whatever Pokeball you like and then continue on bombing those Herba Mystica over the weekend while it is running. And once you beat the Scepter, you'll get your rewards. There's the Herba Mystica drops there. You'll also get an array of large XL candies, other high cost items, which are all always very good when you do beat these seven star terrors. And as you only get one on your map at a time, you'll want to be able to respawn the seven star terror raid as soon as possible. So once the raid has disappeared, if you open your map and then hit your home menu, and you can come down and you can go to system settings down into system and then down into date and time make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off and just toggle through these options don't change anything here hit your home menu come back into the game and all the dens will respawn on your map and you'll be able to locate that seven star terror raid den on the map once again head over to it and then proceed to farm for those Herba Mysticas for the rest of the weekend while this one is running. And with that, I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like on the video. It does help share it around in the community to make it easier for everyone to solo this within the games. Of course, as well, if you do have your own solo builds that you've been having a lot of success with, drop them down in the comment section below, share them around, and also help out the community to farm this Sceptile over this weekend. If you are farming this Sceptile, Good luck with those Herba Mystica drops. I hope you have a lot of fun with the event. And make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you once again for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.